Alright, so um, not 2D, not 3D more. 2.5, that Street Fighter or Killer Instinct type shit. Alright, alright. I thought this video was 100% original, but after finishing the script for this, I was trying to find the author's social media. But then I found out that SidSnap already made a video about this. At least I found the artist's Twitter. Rant over, more hentai. So, this meme. I and many others have always wondered what the sauce was for this infamous meme. I have seen it everywhere from Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, and TikTok. It's a classic meme that pops up from time to time, but not many people have actually decided to read it. So here I am. After a quick search, I managed to find it and I read it. So what's the sauce? It's called Summer and Innocence by Jorori or 25A133. After being able to find the entire thing, I decided to read it and make a summary type of video. Something like varying comics or other comic YouTube channels. I'm not gonna have the sheer emotion that the comic historian has, but let's hope this will be enjoyable. Our opening scene has our two main characters on a bike, talking about how hot it is outside and how our female MC wants to go see the fireworks. Male MC says that it's crowded outside, but female MC reassures him saying that they can see her from her place. Our male MC is still unsure, but our female MC holds him tight and tells him not to be so gloomy. Fast forward that very night, our male MC heads over and they just have a good time joking around before the fireworks start. As the fireworks begin, we have the two main characters cuddling and staring in awe at the show. As our male main character is midway through a sentence, he stops. And now we get to see that scene that became a meme. His eyes are glued onto this girl, but he is quickly caught by her and her eyes meet. She blushes and he pulls her in for a kiss. They hold each other and she whispers, Hey, my parents aren't coming home tonight. <laughs> yeah, boy. Now the next 11 pages, I can't show you. YouTube will definitely take this video down if I do. But all I can say is that it was wholesome. So right after all of that happens, we can then see our female MC with tears in her eyes. A smile on her face and her holding our male MC's hand. An unknown amount of time had gone by, and our two characters are outside, talking about how they didn't get to see much of the fireworks. Our female MC finds a sparkler on the ground, and gets all excited. Male MC says that he was happy to have come over to her house, but she didn't hear him. He decided to shrug it off and ask if he could take a picture of her. Female MC tells him to send it to her as he sets that same picture as his wallpaper. Fuck. Alright. That was wholesome. My pee pee may have been hard, but my heart was harder. The reason why I called them male and female MC is because they never mentioned their names in this. Maybe they did, but I couldn't find it. Page 19, the scene where he busted a nut? It was fucking cinematic. Obviously, there's the art, but there's also the fireworks in the background peeking through the window and the small pieces of light showing off. I may be a degenerate, but I feel even more of one after saying this. But this shit was art. This shit was fucking art. I was entering this without any knowledge as to what I should expect. I never knew who the artist was, and this was the only thing I have seen from the doujin prior to me making this video. Chorori, you have my respect. Apparently this hentai got animated like maybe it was a couple weeks ago uh, as of the time recording, maybe a month ago, I'm not even sure. And according to Sid Snap's video, just based off the title, it was ass. Will I watch it? Don't know. If I do, then I might make a video of it if I can. That's all for me. See ya.